Okay, so here's the latest. Wendy Williams, cops were investigating an anonymous claim that her soon-to-be ex-husband, Kevin Hunter, was poisoning her. TMZ has the story. Uh, cops paid Wendy Williams a welfare check visit after a random caller alleged that her husband, Kevin Hunter, was poisoning the talk show host. And according to that report, uh, which happened back in January, uh, someone claiming to work for Williams' production company believed that Kevin was slipping Wendy something harmful and she wanted the cops to check on her. Two officers went to Williams' New Jersey residence, were greeted by Hunter, who was hesitant to let them in for that welfare check, but he said Wendy was sick and recovering from a health problem. Cops said they explained to Hunter, Kevin Hunter, um, that they were required to speak with Williams in bed with blanket covering uh, from, well, they, they had to talk to her. And so I guess they did. He allowed them to enter. They found Williams in bed with a blanket covering from neck, uh, from neck to toe. And according to that report, one of the officers asked Kevin to leave the bedroom so they can talk to Wendy alone. But he didn't want to leave her side. And for health reasons, Qu Wendy told the cops that she was recovering from a broken shoulder. Williams filed for divorce from Hunter this month amid cheating rumors just weeks after she returned to her show, announced that she was living in a sober home and getting treatment for addiction. So that happened. Yeah, so Russell Wilson, wouldn't you like a co-worker like Russell Wilson? Well, you know, he just signed this big, fat check being the highest paid quarterback in the NFL, a four-year, $140 million contract Again, making him the highest quarterback in NFL. Uh, what he did was, instead of just taking it and balling out of control, he gifted his team. Uh, he busted out the credit card and spent a grand total of $156,000 on his 13 offensive linemen. Each player got a letter with a stop gift explaining why... Uh, that he, why he hooked him up. He said, every Sunday we go to battle together. You sacrifice your physical and mental well-being to protect me, which in turn allows me to provide and care for my family. This does not go unnoticed and it's never forgotten. He wanted to help his teammates prepare for life after football and believe stock in Amazon will help these players achieve their dreams. Wow. He gave them stock in Amazon. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, I, I'm not going to get that. I wouldn't. So, guess who's having a hard time finding true love? Can you guess? I don't even want to talk about this guy, but I thought that the story was kind of funny. George Zimmerman is having a hard time trying to find love. Yeah, he's been banned from Tinder and Bumble. I guess I've been dating way too long because I have no idea what the hell Bumble is. But according to reports, uh, George Zimmerman has been discovered. He's had... Numerous arrests, of course, you know that he's the person who murdered Trayvon Martin and got away with it. According to reports and uh, the Jasmine brand, after discovering that he had created dating profiles on both Bumble and Tinder, both Tinder and Bumble banned him permanently. The Tinder ban came after the website Creative Lo uh, Loafing uncovered screen grabs of Zimmerman's profile, uh, which he created under a fake name. Um, also, there was an excerpt on the profile that he wrote saying that he was carefree and fun. He also detailed that he enjoys activities such as hiking and camping. He's not into huge crowds. So if you're into a guy that's, you know, always about being quiet and stuff like that, he could be your pick. Tinder wouldn't specify or uh, Tinder wouldn't especially confirm the details regarding Zimmerman's banning, but they did release a statement. We take the safety of our users very seriously and acted appropriately once the profile was discovered. I don't want to say poor George Zimmerman, but yeah, that sucks. Hi, guys. What's up? What's up? What's up? I love you, too. I try and check in every day, giving you guys my uh, my entertainment, um, which now I have to edit, but just wanted to kind of give you the scoop before it airs and that's the trap and trashy or the e-report whichever one you want to call it thanks for checking in